okay today we'll see how to create levels so levels actually are floor plans right how many buildings you want to see how many floors you want to take in the building okay so we have to define in the beginning okay so right now if you want to see the levels so here we will see uh, floor plans level one level two all right so here in floor plan it will not show you actually the level or the height of the floor okay if you want to see you have to go in any elevations right so here also if you are in floor plan you will not see here level command it's inactive you can see it's inactive here mm -hmm. because you are not allowed to create levels here so what do you need to do you need to go to any elevation plan double click here now you will see your, uh, here we have levels and also the level command is activated mm -hmm. Now in architecture template we have this. It's starting from zero. Okay, here is a level name we have, and here we have level uh, high, uh, means it's, it's height, right? So it's in zero level, and it's four thousand millimeter we have. If you want to just change their name, just click here, right? You can double click and you can change as well. For example, this is your ground floor, right? So it will be changing. It will ask you. It's going to change everywhere. Okay, no problem. It will change there as well. All right, same here you can change double click all right you can change also for example you have first floor all right so you can use as well first floor, right ff as well now you have yes and you have change as well uh if you want to change its height exactly you can click here and you can change its height as well 2000 millimeter it will change as well mm -hmm. so here if you will change want to change its width okay it doesn't it's only it will reflect if you have elevations all right then you can just increase its uh, length to see the whole elevation as well because it's locked. All right. And here we have this bubble. This is called elevation bubble. And just if you will see the tool tip, it will show you the go to the floor plan that corresponds to this level. Means if you double click on that, it will take you to this corresponding floor plan, first floor. Hmm? Same go to each elevation name here you have as well. If you double click here, it will take you to that level as well. Hmm? Now question is how we can create a new level. There are many ways. I will tell you maximum ways how we can create levels, right? So you need to click on level first, right? So here when you click on level, you will get level option bar, all right? Here we have modify place level and make a plan view, all right? And also we are going to create it. Simple method. Here we have two methods actually to create levels, okay? Here we have this one line method, then pick line method. Line method means you can see this temporary dimension. You can move it from here. Okay, it will show you exactly from this line to this line. If you just come at the end, all right, you can also take reference from the down as well. Hmm? Uh, actually, from the pick, uh, this line method, just click anywhere. Okay, if you click anywhere, even you can just click and drag. So it will create a level automatically. Just click and release mouse. Hmm? Anywhere line, you can click, hold, and drag, and you can have created level four as well. Hmm? We have level three. We can adjust later as well. But let's see if you want to start from here now at the end. When you click here and you just move it and just come over here and at the end of this, just click and release. All right. Now you will see that line will be aligned to that bottom levels, right? If you will start exactly from here. What does this mean? It means this level lines are locked with this, right? If you escape and if you want to try the resize, you will see all with resize because it's locked. If you want to unlock it, so it's locked now, you can move individually as well, right? If you want to lock it again, lock it. Same, I have drawn before, no problem. You can select it and just make it like that, attach with them, okay, and lock automatically. Lock. You can unlock as well. Same here. So you can design roughly, all right, then you can refine them as well if you want to. Hmm? If your levels are overlapping, for example, you are just moving here, now you cannot see this one, right? Because it's very less. If you just zoom in and click here, here you will see this one elbow icon, mm -hmm. add elbow. If you click here, so it will add elbow, you can move it down like that and you can also uh, place wherever you want to place it like that, okay. Example, normally we are creating base levels, so okay, in foundation then you can also click like that. Even you are moving this one, click here and it will move, all right. Click here and you will just click on this elbow icon, then you can just resize as well, you can just adjust where you want. Here you will see also this check box, all right. If you click here, it will show you that bubble information. If you don't want to see, just uncheck this one as well. So it will not show you that bubble information. Mm -hmm. 
here as well if you click here and here you want to see that bubble information click here so it will show you also that bubble information all right as you will click create level here all right so you will see actually it has been added automatically in floor plans hmm? Uh, if you don't want to uh, add here, you want to just create temporary, all right, then we can make them uh, later and visible. So when you are creating levels here, so here we have one option, make a plan view, right? If you will just uncheck this one, all right, now if you will click, click and drag it, it will create level, but uh, it will not add here. Look at this, okay? This level, level 6 is not added and the bubble color is black. Black means this is an active level right now. It is not active, right? Uh, it's not active. You have to make it active to add this. How to make this level active? You need to select it, all right? Then you will go to view panel, all right? Here you will get plan views and floor plans. Mm -hmm. When you click here and here you will see this is level 6 we have and click OK. Now you will see it will become active, all right? And here if you go back, you will see it's blue. Hmm? And also, you have seen uh, one thing when you are creating levels, uh, for example, okay, architecture level, mm -hmm. and when you are creating one level, actually, it's adding floor plans, ceiling plan, have, uh, like both levels. Same. But if you want, you don't want ceiling plan, you want only floor plan. So, here is the option plan view types. Hmm? So, if you want only floor plan, just click once, click once to deselect and select. I want only floor plan, not structure plan, not ceiling plan. Click OK. Now, if you will move and draw like that, you will see it will make here in floor plans only. All right, it's seven. It's not added because it's a black. Okay, uh, just click OK. So yeah, it said it is blue and seven, but you cannot see in ceiling because we unchecked. Hmm? So you can create like that. Later, of course, we can adjust height. Just click here if you want to adjust height. You can adjust height of each level from here. Hmm? If you want to delete any level, just press delete. Okay, it will delete from here. Just simple delete. It will delete any levels you want to delete. You can delete. All right. So that was the one method by drawing line. Okay, if you will delete, it will be deleted as well. Let's see the second method. What we have level and second method is offset method, pick line method. Hmm? We say is offset method also because it's handy and easy. Click here and now you have to provide the offset. All right, just click here. For example, I want 4000. Okay, just click here. Now, just look at the line direction. Okay, if you have given this one pick line, you are picking this line and the direction is very important. If you just move upward direction, it will create upward like that, hmm? like this. But if you will go come down, so it will go down direction as well. So the mouse pointing is very important. If you're pointing outward, upward it will create upward. Hmm? Downward it will go downward as well. If you click here, you will see it's minus. All right, it's creating like a foundation. All right, minus one. Again, you can. So it's easy if you have multiple columns building. You can take this offset method. I like it, and you can create it as well. All right, this is second method by offset method or pick line method. All right, and you can see the levels we created. Another method we have that is called copy method. Okay, you can copy also uh, this level line and you can create it. How? Just go to modification. In modification, you have C uh, copy command CO. Okay, select this one, take this level, all right, enter, then click and move like that. Hmm? Now you can define the distance as well if you want it, for example, 4000 and enter so it will be done. All right, you can create copy. But in copy, you will see it's not active actually, right? If you want multiple copy, you can do also CO copy, all right? Select this one and enter, then move it. Hmm? But I want multiple, all right? I don't want the command should be closed. Just you can check this multiple option, all right? Now here the command will not be closed. Just 4000, all right? Enter okay. command is with you, okay? Even you can click again 4000 like this. You can use this one. Hmm? But this command will not be active. Because we are using copy, so you would you have to do no need to select, just go to view, all right. And here, same floor plans, and here you can select all like that, all right. Or shift key or all and okay. So, all will be active at once. Hmm? Now, you will see all levels active, all right. So, this is third method to create. The last method we have array method, 
right? We'll study array command, but let's see how our uh, how we can create with array command. If you have hundred buildings, right? Hundred floors you have, so it will take time to create hundreds. Click, 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 click. So why not to create with the array command? Hmm? Make sure in elevations like this one, okay, or not to select, it's okay. Just go to uh, modify command, and here you have array command. All right, array. Array is used to create multiple number of copies, okay, in a particular pattern. Click here. Now you have to select object, okay. Uh, before that, you have to define also the type of it. All right. So let's see how it will work. Skip. Select this one. Go to modify. Okay, it's not showing array command, alright. So, number one, let's see, we have to. Now, well, let's make one, alright. So, offset 4000. Because it was one only, that's why it's for not creating. All right. So what do you have to do? You have to create one more. Okay. Now I want to apply array command. So click here and go to modify panel and array. Hmm? Just click on array command, and here you have to choose type. What type you want? Okay. Here we have circular and we have rectangular, linear and the radius. So make sure you select linear and how many numbers you need. Here we have, I, I will teach you in detail, but right now only just make sure you have linear and how many copies you need. All right, we can define also. Just click here and move it distance. For example, 4000 distance you need and enter. Then it will ask you number of copies. Number of copies, for example, I need 30. Just click 30 and enter. Look at this. Only by clicking once, we created 30 levels. Hmm? Same, you have to active them. Just go view and floor plan, and just you need to select all by holding shift key and just OK. So, all will be activated. All right, look at this. Hmm? Now, you have many floor plans. OK, why it's not created ceiling plans? All right, because we haven't checked there. Right, so that's how you can create floor plan. Now, once you are drawing, OK, look at this. For example, if you are drawing wall, OK, architecture, and go to level one. Okay, from here, you are on level 10 and uh, where is level 1? We delete it. Alright, so we will go the uh, 10, alright. So when you are creating wall from here, you can define where you want to connect. Alright, maybe one wall you want to connect is level 11. Okay, so it will go to till level 11. Hmm? So, so you can select from here. So we have here different. Why it's like 10 because we deleted in the middle, so you have to go better to rename them. You go here, right back in the east, and just rename them, then it will work very well, right? So, here double click and you can rename them, then you can choose, otherwise, it will be difficult for you, all right? So, okay, it's actually now you can see it's an array and it's grouped, okay? You have to ungroup, okay? Once ungroup, then you will see it's different, hmm? anything you can, so you have to ungroup as well. Okay.